Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 119 um, in the Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-diagonal problem by Frappi. Um, an anti-diagonal is something that I'm very happy to say we're seeing a little bit more often. Um, I've had a few of the puzzles on my channel recently, because um, it's a constraint that I quite like. Um, so the way this works is you need to place the digit into the cell marked with an X. There is a copy of this grid below or a link to this grid below where you can get um, try this one out for yourself if you need a copy of the grid. This one is quite easy. Um, and the way anti-diagonal works is that um, the marked diagonal can contain only three distinct digits. So unlike the normal diagonal rule where it, it must you cannot repeat digits, in this one there are only three digits that can be placed on the diagonal. So what I'm going to do is wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give this one a try if you need to. And then when you unpause the video, I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so because... Um, these three cells and these three cells and these three cells all must contain the same digits. I mean, I've just highlighted the line, but what we know is anything that can't appear in those cells cannot appear in one box, can't appear in any of the others. So you cannot put one into yellow in, um, at all because you can't put one. You also can't put two, three, four, five, or six. So these need to be only from seven, eight, and nine. Because if I was to not use seven, eight, and nine, I would need to use one of one, two, three, four, five, or six. And I can't do it because these must be a triple. Um, an anti-diagonal basically means that along the diagonals, these are the same triple. But because they're seven, eight, and nine, this central cell, season eight and nine, it literally must be a seven, and that's the solution to the problem. Now, it is a very, very simple introduction to anti-diagonal, but if you've not seen it before, maybe this will slow you down a little bit. If you're used to diagonal, this will um, hopefully start making you think about anti-diagonal. Um, very easy one today, I think, but still an important foundational technique. Um, so hopefully that one is useful to some people. Hopefully it's enjoyable to some people. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the content on the channel. And as always, good luck with your solving.